Hey guys, it's Miss Dina. So by now, I'm sure most of you have heard either from the news or from your friends or maybe you overheard your parents talking that unfortunately, we're not going to get to come back to school by the end of the year. And that really stinks. And um, some of you may be feeling overwhelmed. You may be a little nervous, a little scared. You may be sad because you know you're not going to get to see your friends in person right now. And all of those feelings are okay. Um, but I want to give you some encouragement. And that comes from the Bible. If you look in the book of Genesis, we can read about a man named Joseph. And a lot of you already know the story of Joseph. Joseph was the one that, remember, his mom made him that beautiful coat of many colors. And his parents favored him and they loved him so much. Well, his brothers were jealous because he got a lot of attention. And so what did they do? They sold him into slavery. And so he had to go live in Egypt with the Pharaoh. And his brothers told his parents that he had been killed by wild animals. So nobody was even coming looking for him. So Joseph actually had a pretty good life with the Pharaoh until one day he was accused of a crime he didn't commit. He did nothing wrong and the Pharaoh threw him into jail. He threw him in the dungeon. And it was a pretty sad, depressing, and maybe a scary time for Joseph. But Joseph knew that God was looking after him and he knew that God had a plan for him. He didn't know what it was and he sure didn't like being stuck in that jail cell but he knew that he needed to trust God. In the jail with him, there was a chef that worked for the Pharaoh, and there was also the cupbearer, and that was the person who would give the Pharaoh the wine. And they were stuck in jail with Joseph too. Well, they had these dreams one night. Both of them had a dream, and Joseph said to them, I can interpret those dreams for you. I can tell you what's going to happen. And so they told him the dreams, and Joseph said to the, to the Pharaoh's chef, he said, you know, the Pharaoh's going to call you out of this jail cell, and in three days, he's going to behead you. You're going to, you're going to be dead. He's going to kill you. And to the cupbearer, he said, the Pharaoh is also going to call you out of the jail, but he's going to restore you to your position, um, working right by his side. And so soon after that, the cupbearer and the chef were certainly called back to the Pharaoh's service, and three days after that, the chef was beheaded. The Pharaoh actually killed him, just like Joseph had said. And the cupbearer, he was restored to his position right by the Pharaoh's side. Now, before they left, Joseph said to the cupbearer, would you do me a favor? Would you remind the Pharaoh that I'm here and tell him what I did for you, that I interpreted your dreams, that I told you what was going to happen. Make sure you tell the Pharaoh that. The cupbearer said, of course I will. Well, guess what? The cupbearer forgot to tell the Pharaoh. It wasn't until two years later, the Pharaoh started having dreams and he couldn't interpret them and he needed someone to interpret the dreams for him. Two years later, the cupbearer said, hey, I forgot there's this guy he's down in the dungeon in the dungeon his name's Joseph and he can interpret those dreams oh I totally forgot he interpreted our dreams and he told me exactly what was gonna happen oh, you got to go get this guy so two years later Joseph was called out of the dungeon and he interpreted the dreams of the Pharaoh and the Pharaoh was so pleased that he made Joseph in charge of everything he made him his right-hand man Joseph was put in a position of prominence. Now, in that two years, Joseph probably was very discouraged. He was probably very sad, very lonely, and he probably questioned, God, what are you doing? Why am I still here? God, please get me out of this prison. Now, you may be thinking to yourself right now, ugh. God, when is this gonna end? When do I get to get out of my house? When do I get to go see my friends again? And you know what? Sometimes we don't have those answers right away. We just need to trust God and know that he has a plan for us. And the Bible says in Romans 8, 28, that God works all things for good for those who love him. So what does that mean we have to do? It means we have to be patient. 
it means that we just have to put on a smile and be the very best we can be for our mom and our dad and our brothers and sisters and encourage others, encourage our friends to just be patient because we know that God has something really, really good planned for us. I love you guys and I hope I can see you real soon. Take care. Bye.